there are many Christians nowadays that turn to Islam and other faiths. And there's a very good reason for that. The thing is that many Christians are just believers. Now the difference between Jesus and any other religion is Jesus is real. He's God Almighty. But unless you have had a, an experience where you meet Jesus and where He comes into your heart and He becomes a reality to you and you get into a relationship with Him and you know He's God Almighty. He's not just a storybook. He's not just inside some book, a black book. When you realize He's God Almighty, and this book talks about Him, yes, but He is God. This book does not define Him. The Bible does not define Him. It just tells you about Him. But then you've got to meet Christ. Now, once you've met Christ, and you've got into a relationship with Him daily, where you hear His voice, and you're guided by His Holy Spirit, then nothing can shake you. The majority of Christians today are just indoctrinated. They are believers. Now you can believe in trees, you can believe in whatever, you can believe in anything. Then it is a belief. If you just believe in Jesus, it is a belief. It's not a reality. But when Jesus comes into your heart, He changes you. He puts His Spirit into you. And it is that same Spirit that rose Christ from the dead after He was crucified. That comes and lives in you. And God is a reality. He's power. And when you pray, He answers you. And Jesus speaks to you every day. He says, My sheep know my voice and they follow me. The reason why people convert to Islam and to other things, Buddhism and whatever, is that they are grounded on theory, on doctrine, on reading the Bible. You know, they are, most of them are kind of Bible-believing Christians. They just believe in the book. Now, they, this book has got no, no power whatsoever. It's a book. It's pages. Uh, you, you can maybe hit a guy over the head with it. That's the only power it's got. But the words in here have got power if the Holy Spirit of Christ in you quickens those words because then it gives meaning to them. And that is why we must know Jesus Christ ourself. He is the power of God. And that's why people uh, turn away from Christianity. Uh, because the book has as much power as the books of any other religion. It is a theory. But unless that the book has taken you to Jesus Christ, who is God Almighty, who holds everything together, who is in every breath I breathe, who keeps me alive, who is the King of heaven and earth, who is the judge of all mankind, who, who does all things, who controls everything, who, who, who puts rulers in place and takes them down. Uh, he controls the oceans and the tides and the planets. Is God Almighty of everything. Unless you have come into tune with Him and His Spirit has come into your heart and He's become your reality, you will be shaken. You will maybe say, oh well, you know, maybe that other religion is, is also okay. Because it's a religion. But it's not a reality. And people occupy themselves with religion. Many Christians are just religious. They don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. What is real to me is Jesus. When I wake up at night, He talks to me. During my day, I talk to Him. He reveals things to me. He shows things to me. Jesus is real. When I've got a problem, I pray and He solves it. He's done the impossible in my life. He's done, he's, I've been stuck where it's impossible. I had a heart attack, I died. And I knew I was not coming back. I went down a deep black hole and I knew, pal, it's gone with you. I cried out to Jesus and He brought me back. To me, Jesus is alive. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about the Bible, people. Because the God who wrote the Bible lives in my heart. He tells me everything.
He tells me everything about the Bible and everything about everything because He's God Almighty, He's alive. And that is the Jesus I serve. He's not stuck in a book. He contains everything. And He wants to live in your heart as well, my friend. That's the difference between Jesus and religion. Jesus is God Almighty. Religion is just a story. If you want reality, get Jesus in your heart. Repent of your sins and cry out to Jesus. He will come to you. He will reveal Himself to you. And you will know that He is real. He is God. He is unexplainable, undefinable, greater than all reality, bigger than any imagination. Is Jesus Christ, King of kings, Lord of lords, my Lord whom I serve. Jesus bless you.